Hi guys, so uh, just taking a little look at this, you have to bar bear with me, this is my first time as opposed to the other video, but I forgot to mention on the other videos, I need you to subscribe, I need you to like these videos, apparently um, if I get a thousand subscribers, I get a gold YouTube uh, button click or sent to me, so who knows how that's going to be, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I want to catch you up on the first set of slides that you have gone through thus far. Um, so let's take a quick look at them. Let's uh, let's move me around. Not quite sure what's going on here. Uh, yeah, let's move me right on up here. And so we started with chapter 13, renewable energy. Um, so we're all about renewable energy. We're all about um, wind, solar, geothermal, biomass, anything along those lines, anything that's not a fossil fuel or nuclear energy. So what is the renewable energy? Well, it is rapidly regenerated. It is never depleted. Hopefully, wind is always going to be there. Sun is always going to be there. Biomass is always going to be there. Geothermal, the heat from the earth, it will always be there. It's non-depletable. Okay, right there, non-depletable. Okay, I'm going to kind of buzz through these a little bit since you guys have already had these. Um, but again, email me if you have any questions. What is non-renewable? Well, we've talked about that. Coal, gas, oil, nuclear. What is non-depletable or renewable? That's the wind, the solar, the hydroelectricity, the geothermal. Now there is something a little bit different as opposed to wood and biofuel. We call those potentially renewable. The reason is if you go out and you cut down a thousand trees, you've just really depleted a good number of trees in that area. It's gonna take them time to grow back. So if everybody goes out, think about Easter Island. If everybody goes out and cuts down those trees, we're going to run out of our main fuel. So that's why they're potentially renewable. We have to use them or we can use them, but keep in mind they do take time to grow back. Whereas wind, if you go outside, you get the wind, wind's still going to be there. All right. So it is always occurring. Solar, hydroelectric, geothermal. Moving on, we look at the uh, renewable energy comp uh, compared to non-renewable energy. We see that we are lacking um, as, the, as a world in using renewable energy, only about 13%, very small. Even of that, the hydroelectric, the solar, the wind, and the geothermal, extremely small. And think about this, hydroelectric, there's only so many rivers, okay? There's only so many tidal areas where you could pull that energy from. Again, same idea, in fact, of using energy or the fact of using energy. Let's keep on keeping on. Energy efficiency. Remember, E-R-O-E-I, energy return on energy investment. We're looking for that energy efficiency to be very, very high. For that, many energy companies have an extra backup source of energy. When we go on peak demand, what peak demand means is it's higher demand. It's a certain time of the day when more people are home, they're using electricity, there's a greater pull on those generation stations. Um, let's keep moving on. Sustainable design. Sustainable design is all about designing your home to be energy efficient, whether it's the color of your walls, a very uh, taupey color, uh, a tan color, okay? Something that doesn't reflect a lot, but doesn't absorb too much heat. Whether it's having windows, placed on certain areas of your home, maybe these southern facing areas, so that way it lets in a lot of light. Whether it's having a shade tree in times and during the summertime when you want to cast shade on your house. Maybe you're working along with higher amounts of insulation, higher efficiency of windows. Okay, you want to keep that heat in or keep the cold out. Upgrade your boiler, uh, your water heater. All, right? All of these things are called sustainable design. Okay. They allow us to, in a way, build a home that's more energy efficient. That's what we're looking for, to increase energy efficiency. Almost there as a review. Passive solar design. When we look at passive solar design, we are looking at uh, the sustainable design. Okay, Passive means we're going to build something and we're going to let the sun and the shade and all of that stuff do our work for us. We're not actively gathering energy like we would with a solar panel. That's passive solar design, uh, window placements, color of your house, shade trees. If we talk about active solar design, we're talking about solar panels, actually generating the electricity. 